What's up, YouTube? This is Kalei Pokemon, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, yeah, following up from yesterday's video, this is going to be one of those news videos that I make. Um, so today I want to talk about the fifth anniversary of the traditional Chinese Pokemon cards. So, uh, for those of you that do not know, there are actually two, whoops, there's two forms of Chinese. There's the simplified version of Chinese and the traditional version of Chinese. Um, and if you guys want an explanation of that, you definitely have to go check out Crystal Collect. She makes a much better explanation into the different types of Chinese dialects and things. Um, and I mean, if you want to go through the history of traditional and simplified Chinese, I can give you guys a history lesson on that. But yeah, but focusing on the Pokemon cards, go back to uh, Crystal's Collect's video. So uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so basically, it's the fifth anniversary of the traditional Chinese Pokemon cards, and I think two days ago, they've been releasing a video talking about a new product that they are going to set out. And this new product that they're setting out is going to be a coming out with the Surging Sparks on October 25th. And this is the fifth anniversary collection box, if you would like to put it. And uh, it's quite interesting. What catches a lot of people's attention is the Pikachu card. It is going to be a new Pikachu promo card that is resemblance of those Fiesta, Japanese Fiesta cards with Pikachu as a centerpiece followed by a bunch of different Pokemon surrounding Pikachu. And this time we have things such as Mew, Zorak, and even the terrestrialized Charizard uh, surrounding the card. Um, and with this collection box, there's also a metal keychain. Uh, I think a booster box of Surging Sparks, a deck box, and then also, I think it was 15 cards. There's a 15 cards, but they are placed in a kind of like a, what do you call it? Like a, like a folded up binder thing, where, you know, that folded up binder has a logo of the Sun and Moon era, the Sword and Shield era, and the Scarlet and Violet era, denoting how the traditional Chinese cards for this past five years has gone through the three generations of um, Pokemon. So uh, I think definitely it is a collector's items. And uh, I think the biggest question that everyone have is, is this promo card going to be released in Japanese or in English? And to be honest, the answer is we don't know. And because we don't know, um, a lot of people are really, really hyping to get this set. And I think this set is selling in Hong Kong for around that 90 US dollar MSRP. But I do believe that it will sell way above MSRP because, hey, you know, this is a world of scalping and, you know, we don't really even know who is the true distributors. And so we're going to see price hyped uh, here and there. And uh, we also don't have any information about the size of the box. So shipping from Asia to the States and stuff can be very expensive because it can be very, very bulky. Um, so there's still a lot of unknowns. And um, so, yeah, do keep that in mind. But there has been some places that you can actually pre-order this. Um, and I think that, you know, you can check on eBay. You can just check on, I think even Crystals Collects website. You can check on those as well. Um Will I buy the set? I will definitely buy the set because I'm a Pikachu collector. I will buy one or two of these, grade them myself and put it on my Pikachu wall. Um, in the long run, is this an investable product? It really depends. It really depends on whether this cart is going to be released in the Japanese or the English side of things. If they are, obviously, it's going to erode the, uh, the, the price of the Chinese traditional Chinese cards. Um, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, hey, collect Pokemon, but this is... This is unique. I mean, the, the concept of the fifth anniversary is unique, but then the copyrights of the cards could still be printed elsewhere. So, yeah, that's that, that's my debate. And you know, I, you know, you guys know that I haven't actually done a lot of traditional Chinese cards, um, and I'm still sitting on a lot of the twenty uh, fifth anniversary. Uh, Charles or Venus or Blastor collection boxes, um, even though they did appreciate in price, but as an investment perspective they're appreciating at a much slower rate than i anticipated so that's why i'm very very cautious about um investing in you know traditional chinese pokemon cards i mean if you want to open them yeah that's fine if you want to collect them that's fine um and if they do release uh, this in other languages or in English or in um, Japanese, what we're going to see is we're going to see something similar to the golden box where the Chinese golden box will always be a little 
under the price of the um, Japanese one. So that is something that you guys have to consider. But uh, definitely, this is this is relatively a cool product, and it is a cool product in a sense that it is very regional. It, it commends a very regional value of it and i think that you know all these special cards will also get the fifth anniversary logo which is the logo that you guys see on the box and it, it, it's actually quite nice to be very honest with you so um yeah that's what i think but you know keep your eyes out i think that uh as time go by there will be more and more pre-order coming out um i think here in hong kong this was released two days ago and pre-order um pre-order things that from different stores have been going out in these past two days um but they're all saying that it might have be heavily allocated so they're saying that oh they'll take in a deposit but it is not guaranteed and i think that that is the case that you're going to see on most pre-order on every website that you can see online um, because no one can confirm the number until the number is actually confirmed and i think the good part is that because it is going to be released later this month in october um even if you do pre-order it you full pay it um those stores will not hold your money for like three or six months or something like that because it should be released at the end of this month so um that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed this news i'll catch you guys in the next one let me know in the comment section are you gonna buy it peace this is collect pokemon Bye bye